What's going on, people? I'm not going to be before you too long. But I never thought I'd see a day when the so-called Black Americans would team up with the satanic agenda. I never thought I'd see the day when Black Americans would support the New World Order that would actually take the side of the devil. Never thought I'd see that day. And it's quite strange to me at the number of so-called Black Americans that support Joe Biden and the Democrat Party, in spite of what's going on, in spite of what they're dealing with, they've lost loved ones, they were sick with COVID, um, they're being evicted out of their homes, they're paying high gas prices, inflation is off the, off the chain. They see what's going on. And it's happening during the Biden administration, but yet Black Americans refuse to put the blame where it really belongs. And that's the Biden administration. This Black Americans are still talking about Trump. I was talking to a young man last night and I had asked him the question about what's going on over in Ukraine. And his response to me was, I think Trump got something to do with this. This is Trump. Trump did this. He's got something to do with this. And I said, brother, Trump is not even the president. He's not in the White House. This is all the Biden administration. Everything that's happening now is a result of the choices that Biden made and did not make. He came in when times were a lot better than what they are now, Biden came in and reversed everything that Trump did. He even defunded the HBCUs. Biden did that. And then he handed out crack pipes to the black community. He'd rather take those billions of dollars and spend them on crack pipes and heroin than to give the so-called Black Americans reparations. And he didn't, need, he didn't need approval for that. He didn't need permission to do that. He did it. So it's mind blowing to me at the number of Black Americans that have sided with the beast. But that's not what this video is about. And I'm not gonna be on this too long. I just want to speak briefly on how Vladimir Putin slash Russia punked the United States, checkmate the United States. Remember back when North Korea, Kim Jong-un told Trump that he had a button. In other words, he was threatening nuclear attack. Trump responded and said, I have a bigger button. So now Putin, seeing the weakness of Biden, used the same tactic that North Korea used by putting his new nuclear team on alert. So now America, NATO, is afraid to make a move for the fear of a nuclear attack. Now, I personally don't think Russia is serious. I think Vladimir Putin used this as a strategy tactic to keep NATO and the United States away from what he's doing. Because if he's able to keep help from coming to Ukraine, he can continue doing what he do, take over. Putin is not evil. He's only doing what he's allowed to do, what the world is allowing him to do. 
He saw an opportunity and he took it. And the first thing he jumped to was nuclear. That's a strategic move to keep help from coming to Ukraine. But if Biden had any type of spine, he would call that bluff. Biden's response should have been, oh, word, it's like that? You want to go there? Okay, I tell you what, now we on alert. So now what you want to do? You got nukes, we got nukes. Let's go, let's do this. Let's do it. And Biden, or better yet, Vladimir Putin would have looked and said, whoa, wait. And all Biden had to do was give one of them crazy looks. Really, you that's your word? You, you, want, you want to do this? You sure you want to do this? Vladimir Putin was like, yo, he crazy. And he would have called that alert off, guaranteed. Just like Kim Jong-un when Trump called his bluff. And Trump said, you want to do this? You sure? That's your word? All right, I got a bigger button. So what's up? Kim Jong-un backed off. So sometimes you have to show your enemies that you're crazier than they are. There's nothing wrong with being labeled as crazy in the right context. See, you show, the, you show your enemies that you're crazier than they are, they're going to be very slow to come upon you because think about it. If Putin had that kind of spine, if his balls were that big where he can just threaten with nuclear and get the world afraid, why didn't he do that before now? Because Trump kept him at bay. Trump kept him away. Putin didn't do anything. When Putin, and check this out, Putin planned for this months, years. He planned for this. He knew what he was going to do. He was waiting for the opportune time to do it. All those times that he was spotted outside of California, those bombers, and he was buzzing the United States ships, he was tested. And I spoke on this in videos of the past where he was just reconning the area. He was testing the strength and the response of America. But everybody else is in their cell phones. Everybody else got their phones planted in their face. So they're not paying attention to what's going on. And they've been so brainwashed and hoodwinked to every little thing is Trump fault. They can see what's going on. They're experiencing what's going on. But yet, it's Trump's fault. The orange man. It's his fault. And it was mind-blowing to me that this brother, when I had to ask him about what's going on, over in Ukraine, his response was, Trump got something to do with that. This is his doing. Really? So when I started throwing the facts on the brother, he got a little uneasy, you know? He didn't say nothing. He didn't come back. He got quiet, but his body language was uneasy because he could not handle the truth. He's been so brainwashed and bewitched that he have no idea what's going on. And I told him, I said, it's mind blowing. I said, Biden just got done, you know, giving black people crack pipes. And black people refuse to put the blame where it belongs. So Biden's response should have been, I got a bigger button. Let's do this. You on alert? Now we on alert. And then went ahead and put a no-fly zone for Russia. And say, now, now what? 
Call it bluff. Now what? What's up? And China sitting back watching. China is going to make the next move because he see the weakness and the lack of response from the United States. So listen, what do you think about that? Feedback, tell me what you think. Subscribe, click on the cash app, the chime link, and financially support this channel. Bless the brother. Until next time. And don't forget to subscribe. Until next time. I'm fearless.